it's Tybug and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing Sephora sale recommendations. So my first video was skincare recommendations for dry skin and now we're going to be doing skincare recommendations for oily skin. If you did watch my dry skin video you're going to see some overlaps because some of these products are great for both skin types and if you're a combination skin get the products that are great for both skin types. So this is how I'm going to be doing the recommendations. I'm kind of going to be talking to you guys like I'm talking to my friends because I make all of their sort of routine skincare and makeup and they're kind of just waiting for me to give them stuff now. So here you guys go, pay attention. And I'm also not going to be recommending any active ingredients such as AHA or BHA or exfoliants because those can get kind of tricky and I don't want you guys to have a bad skin reaction. I want you guys to focus more on hydrating and building up the skin barrier. And I know what you're thinking, oily skin doesn't need to hydrate, I have too much of it. No, your skin is oily because it lacks the moisture. So it's trying to create its own moisture. It's like overproducing oil because it needs more moisture. <laughs> that was something I had to learn because I thought I had oily skin. But then once I started moisturizing, you know, like actually following what people said to do, oh my God, my skin was starting to get great. <laughs> Who would have thought? Okay, so first I'm going to show you sort of how to go through the website. So here we are on the Sephora website. And you can kind of go through like each category. It has it listed down here. But if you don't know what you're looking for, I got you. So first, you're going to want to see the product. See the size and the price. Then you're going to want to scroll down. And this is like just a sort of like, it's a key. It's just like quick hints like, this is what to pay attention to. It's vegan. It's cruelty free. It's good for combo normal skin. Don't always pay attention to this because sometimes it's not going to be true. Okay, so just, just trust me. <laughs> okay, then you're going to be going to the about the product and it's kind of going to be telling you what they intended the product to do and what, um, what the formulation is, which is important. Formulation, you're going to be looking for different things if you're oily skin or dry skin. If you're dry skin, you're going to be looking for more cream products. If you're oily skin, you're going to be looking for more lightweight gel products. So. Hint. Next, you're going to want to go to the highlighted ingredients. Sometimes they will tell you what each ingredient is meant to do in the product. Sometimes they will not. So it gets a little bit confusing. But if it tells you what it does, great. If it doesn't, you're going to go to the ingredients list. And here you're just kind of going to want to look for things that you have a known allergy to or a known reaction to because it's going to be hard trying to figure out what you what each ingredient does. Some ingredients do different things in different products. Some of them are um, stabilizers or some of them are foaming agents. They all do different things. So don't pay attention too much to the ingredients list. Just look for things that you have a reaction to. And then look at things that your skin likes. Like for me, my skin likes oat. So that would be great for me. So let's start with the products. So we're going to be going through a whole skincare routine, starting with oil cleanser and ending with a face mask. So oil cleansers, you're only going to be using at night. Oil cleansers are meant to take off your makeup, your sunscreen, and any impurities such as sweat. You're going to want to use an oil cleanser every single night because you should be using sunscreen every single day. I don't care if you stay inside all day. you got to put that sunscreen on because the sun is coming through your window. Anyways, <laughs> first product is the Biosant Squalane Plus Antioxidant Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil. This was the first oil cleanser I have ever tried, and I love it. I absolutely adore it because of the squalane. But unfortunately, if you're using it to remove eye makeup, you might have a little bit of a burning sensation because there is orange. What? Well, let me see. It has orange oil in it and lavender oil in it and those can kind of have a negative reaction when they get in the eyeball and when you're removing mascara it's kind of inevitable for it to get into the eyeball so give this a try but if you have sensitive eyes or you wear contacts maybe not so i have another recommendation for you which is the green tea hydrating cleansing oil by innisfree and this just looks so yummy delicious i just love the way some brands do like their product shoots. They're just perfect. 
This is without mineral oil, parabens, or sulfates. And for some people, that might be very important for them. Other people, maybe not. And a uh, highlight ingredient of this is green tea water, which is good for antioxidant and hydration. And it has a triple amino acid complex. You'll see something, some brands or products that talk about amino. And I don't really know what that is. You don't really need to know what that is. <laughs> but it's supposed to help add moisture and deliver gentle, non-stripping cleanse. Also, with oil cleansers, sometimes you're going to need to emulsify the product. If you don't know what emulsification is, so first you put on the product. Then you get a little tiny bit of water on your hands, and you rub in the product some more. And the product will sometimes turn into like a little milky consistency, and you'll see more of your um, makeup sort of removed in that emulsification process. Then you rinse off with water. Rinse, 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 rinse. Then you go in with a wa water cleanser. I'll get to that. But if you're using an oil cleanser, which you should, you always need to use a water cleanser afterwards because an oil cleanser by itself does not clean the skin. It removes product and impurities from the skin, but it doesn't clean it. Got it? Got it, got it, good. Next product is a melting cleansing balm. This is the Sephora Collection Melting Cleansing Balm Cleanse Plus Balance. This just looked so yummy. Why am I describing things as yummy? But it does. If you look at it, it's like a gel that is like sort of like this sort of lime green minty color. Why am I talking about it like that? It just looks great. And um, I don't really have a, any strong feelings about the ingredients in this, but it is a balm. Some people prefer a balm to an oil. So here is your balm recommendation. And it just looks great. <laughs> Next, we're gonna be going onto the water cleansers. So this will be the second step in your night routine. In the morning, this will be your first step. So this first recommendation, I'm sure you've all heard about multiple, multiple times, is the Used to the People Superfood Antioxidant Refillable Cleanser. I don't know they were refillable now, but now they are. This has kale in it, which is great for the skin, of providing vitamins and leaving the skin glowing. It has spinach. It just has a whole bunch of like herbs in it. It definitely smells like a salad, but this is a great, simple and gentle uh, cleanser. And it's definitely something maybe you should start off with if you're just getting into skincare, because it's tried and true, but it is expensive. But hey, we're shopping at Sephora here. Everything's expensive. Next recommendation is another Sephora collection. Reminder, Sephora collection is 30% off during this sale. It is the Clean Skin Gel Cleanser with Prebiotics. It also looks great. It is a gel cleanser, which is great for oily skin. This is, has aloe vera in it, which is great. Great, but for cleansers, you don't really need to pay as close of attention to the ingredients because you're going to be washing it off. When you're getting to serums and moisturizers, that's when it's going to be important because that stays on your skin for a, a long period of time. Now we're going to get into serums. I think every skin type should use a hyaluronic acid serum because this locks in the moisture. And it's just a, an amazing, amazing ingredient. So this is the Inculus Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Serum. And hyaluronic acid, you want to make sure you use it on wet skin because it's locking in that moisture. On dry skin, it's not going to work as well and you might have a reaction. Next product is the Innisfree Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Serum. Innisfree is a great brand, but some of their products do have fragrance, so just watch out for that. But this has the hyaluronic acid in it and it has green tea. And green tea is good for the moisture barrier and antioxidants and amino acids. Ooh, amino acids again. Next, we're gonna go in with a toner. Sometimes you can use a toner first. Sometimes you can use a toner after serum. I recommend using a toner before serums. So this is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Wild Oat Hydrating Toner. And it has oats, which is a great product for soothing irritation and providing moisture. I feel like I'm talking a little weird. But anyways, oats is great. This is actually one of the first toners I've ever used. And it's like a staple. I used it for years and years, but I wanted to branch out to something that provided a little bit more. 
but this is a great simple toner. Next is the Tower 28 Beauty SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray. This is very simple product. It has three ingredients in it and it smells like pool water, but it works great for um, cystic acne, inflammation, redness, and it's sort of just feel like you're spraying water on the skin, but it feels good. Trust, trust. And then I kind of am skipping over moisturizer. I have one that I thought might be okay. It looks creamy, but when I tried it, it kind of just like melted away. It kind of felt more like a gel once I applied it. It was kind of like jammy, jelly sort of texture. And it says it's a rich cream, so maybe go in and swatch it if you're going to try this. But this has avocado oil in it and marula oil in it. And I, I don't know, it just felt really great on the skin. So definitely give it a swatch if you want a moisturizer from here. Then I have one sunscreen. I don't really like a lot of the sunscreens that are offered at Sephora because I am an avid Korean skincare and Japanese skincare user. So my recommendation is a Japanese skincare brand, which is Shiseido. It is their clear sunscreen stick SPF 50. And I've just heard amazing things about this before. And I have a friend who uses it who really likes it. And it's clear. It goes on the skin clear so you can use it underneath makeup, on top of makeup. And um, it kind of mattifies the skin a little bit so it doesn't leave you looking oily. Now we're going to go into body products. Some body products you can use on the face, some you cannot. I think the skin on your body is a lot more resilient than the skin on your face. So probably be hesitant when you're using body products on your face. But you can use all face products on the body, which is interesting. Cool, huh? So my first recommendation is the Necessaire, which is one of my favorite brands, body brands. This is the body wash with niacinamides, vitamins, and plant surfactants. Surfactant, I think, is a foaming agent, and this has so many great things. Niacinamide is amazing because it helps with the skin barrier and helps with pigmentation. And it has some plant oils and plant surfactants. It's a system that softly foams to gently cleanse the skin. Yeah. So they have a fragrance-free version. Then they have a sandalwood version, a eucalyptus version, and a bergamot version. And they also have refills. The refill looks better than the bottle, to be honest. Because the refill is in like this nice metal container. One aluminum refill equals two bottles of the body wash. I had never heard of this brand before, but when I was exploring the website, I thought it looked really cool. It is the Maud Mod Wash pH Balance Body Wash and Bubble Bath. It comes with an unscented version. Um, a warm version that has notes of amber, cedar leaf, clove, lemongrass, um, medjool, date, and tonka bean. A bright scent with pink pepper, gurjun balsam, lemon California, and cedarwood virgin virginia. virginia. <laughs> and a fresh scent with eucalyptus, sandalwood, cassis, and Haitian vetiver. <laughs> Sorry, Virginia. <laughs> And this just seems like a fun body wash. It does have fragrance, so if you're sensitive to fragrance, be careful of that. But it, it just looks so cool. I think it might be the product pictures that lured me because it, it just looks like so clean and minimalistic and delicious. Stop saying it's delicious. Next, we have the By Rosie Jane, pardon my French, Wake the Fuck Up Every Day Body Wash. And it has white tea extract, pine bark extract, and cocoa extract. Uh, the white tree extract is good for elasticity and collagen. The pine bark extract is good for circulation. So I think it's a little bit of a... Oh my god. An exfoliating ingredient. And the cocoa extract is good for hydrating and soothing. And I just, I just like the name of it. I like it when brands do that. And then this is the deodorant I use. I swear by it. It is the necessary deodorant gel with 5% alpha hydroxy acid, which is an AHA, and niacinamide. 
So under the armpits, I think AHA is like sort of essential because it helps neutralize odor. It helps with darkness and ingrown hairs. And if you shave your armpits, you know how that goes. And this comes in a fragrance-free version, which I use because I'm sensitive to fragrance. And you, if you've tried a AHA BHA deodorant before, you might uh, notice that it kind of smells chemically when there isn't a scent to it. But this does not have a chemical scent to it at all. It just, it's fragrance-free. And then they have a new eucal eucalyptus scent, which is mwah, delicious. Delicioso. <laughs> so it has niacinamide and calum chamomile, a calming plant extract that helps soothe the skin. So we get a little bit of exfoliation, a little bit of, of odor neutralization, and a little bit of calming. And it's a gel. I like gel deodorants. Liquid deodorants kind of like make my armpits feel wet when I put a t-shirt on, and stick deodorants give me like that, that white leftover grossness. Okay, this next product, I don't tan, but I know a lot of my friends tan, and you guys probably tan as well. So this is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Express Bronzing Mousse. I've heard that mousse is a lot easier to use than a liquid. I don't know why, but that's what I've heard. A mousse or an oil, but for our oily skin baddies, we're going to be using the mousse. And if you're my skin tone, lighter or darker, you still can use a tanning product. I don't do it, but I've heard that it is a celebrity secret for red carpets because it evens out the skin tone and provides you that radiant glow. So perhaps I will try a tanning product in these coming days. And it comes in two sizes. And I don't know how you select a shade. Is it one shade? Because on the website, it has different... Oh, maybe that's how many layers you put on. Anyways, looks great. A lightweight mousse that allows you to choose your tan from a light glow to a deep, dark tan. Ooh. And Saint Tropez, I think, is Ashley Graham's brand. She is a model. Next, we're going to go into lip products. Uh, be careful with lip products because if it's really creamy, such as the Laneige or the Summer Fridays one, it's going to give you a breakout around your mouth because it's going to clog. There's a cat bite. It's going to clog the pores around your lips. So if you want a lip balm from here, I 100% recommend the Pharmacy Honey Butter Beeswax Lip Balm. Not because I've tried it, but because all of the reviews swear by it. It has honey in it, which is good for soothing and humectant. That's kind of like keeping moisture in. And it ha provides antioxidants and it's beeswax and kupa, aku, and cocoa butters. I've just heard amazing things about it. If you want a lip balm, just read the reviews. The reviews sing its praise. And then we're going to end with a face mask. And this is a face mask I have bought like four times because I use it like maybe once a week. It is the Innisfree Volcanic AHA Pore Clearing Clay Mask. So because it does have AHA in it and it's a clay mask, which can be sort of drying, I don't use it too often, but I think they recommend it. you can use it twice a week. Use one to two times a week, so yeah. But it just, I used to have cystic acne. I don't really get cystic acne anymore. I mostly have just a lot of acne scars. I'm not wearing any foundation. This product worked amazing on my um, cystic acne and is working amazing on my acne scars. I don't know what it is about clay masks, but they're just great. So those are all of my skincare recommendations for oily skin. I hope you guys found products you're looking forward to getting. Please let me know if you try any of them, how they worked for you, or please leave a comment if there's a product that you swear by that you think everyone else should try. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And I will see you guys in probably the next video because I'm going to be going over makeup recommendations then. So I will see you guys next time. Bye! Oh! Oh, don't leave yet. I forgot to go over how to get your sale. Oh my goodness. <laughs>
So if you are shopping online, make sure you put into the discount code save now because it won't automatically apply the discount to your shopping cart. You need to enter it in. If you're shopping in person, they will do it automatically for you. But yeah, make sure you do that. <laughs> okay, now it's bye. Bye.